Ford. Amber, are you ready? I am. Amber's still in the bathroom, though. Does she always run late? Pretty much. I still can't believe our whole friendship group is going camping, though. It's going to be fun! Be careful, though. Why? Acting protective all of a sudden? Well, hopefully Yvonne or Eliana don't show up. Or Kara. They won't. You ready now, then? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's go, then. Please be careful. Why do you keep stressing that? Well, you and Cece have never been away from home before. I want you to be safe. We'll be fine. I'll keep an eye on Cece. Ava, are you okay? I'm fine. I just... I just miss my mom sometimes. Even though I do still see her. Hey, don't worry. We're going to have lots of fun at summer camp. Of course. Leliana, please. What? Just making sure I have everything. We need to go. You need to be there by 9am. Stop worrying. Nina, Tommy, are you ready? I wish Freddy was coming. Your brother will be fine, Leliana. Yes, we're ready. Good. Why isn't Freddy coming? That has an extremely obvious answer. After everything that's happened to him, I frankly do not blame him at all. Ford's company would be very good for him, though. Yes, but he'll see Ford when we all get back. I'm not pushing him to do anything. Yes, don't. Like you care. I'm just looking out for my brother and I'm following his best interests. Whatever. Let's just go. Johnny! Ford! I'm so glad everyone could make it. Wouldn't miss it. The only thing I'll miss is my brother. Sorry he isn't coming. I tried to talk to him, but he doesn't like being social unless it's with you or me. Yeah. Shall we eat breakfast? These croissants are delicious. Agreed. Livy is obsessed with food. I'm not. You are. <laughs> that was right, though. Seriously. And you don't love food, Noah? Eric also has a point. Whatever. Were you nervous? About coming here, Kayla? A little. Don't worry, it's... Gonna be fun. Are you sure? Yes. yes. How is it going, Autumn? Alright, I suppose. Johnny will never forgive me, though. Everyone makes mistakes, though. Yeah, they do. I don't think I could ever earn his forgiveness. I'm so glad we can all spend more time together. Me too. I can get to know some of you better. You already know me well. Obviously. Ford, can you pass me a croissant? Sure. Usually I don't have breakfast. Or it just consists of boring cereal. Don't most people's breakfast consist of boring cereal? I know mine does. I suppose Edward and I have toast a lot. Yes, or muffins! I mean... Lewis has made me breakfast a few times before. That's sweet. Johnny never does anything like that. Hey! Sabrina bakes cakes for him a lot, though. Amber hates baking. Usually Raylan does that. Baking is fun, unlike shopping. We're like polar opposites, Raya. Yes, I know. Shall we head to the pool now? Definitely. Raylan made tropical drinks for everyone. Yes, I did. Delicious. I'm getting in the pool. I never knew you'd like swimming so much. Well, I do. I'm joining her. Me too. It looks cold. It's heated, Lewis. You're having fun, right, Kayla? I think so. Just forget about Michelle. Well, your mom. You're here to enjoy yourself. I can try. These drinks are so nice! Well, Raylan did make them. Homemade things are always the best. Definitely. Unless it's made by Livy. Noah, stop! I think we should have lunch now. Sabrina baked chocolate chip cookies for dessert. Yeah. Awesome. I love cookies so much. Your brother not here, Eve? He didn't want to come. I didn't push him. He enjoys seeing you, though. Yes, because those two are, like, so in love. That makes sense. He talks about you all the time, Louisiana. How does everyone find love so easily? My brother's 18, and Louisiana's the first person he has had feelings for. 
I wouldn't necessarily call that easy. You're Banky the Marquis now. Such a selection of things to choose from. Yes, and... Hello. Hello. Yeah. Don't worry, Kayla. She can't do anything. Have you come to crash our camp? Maybe. Of course. Ford, call Emily. Sure. Why are you working with Ebone, Scarlet? She's my idol. I know that. Then why ask a stupid question? Good for her. No, not good. Why not? Being evil is bad. Well... Maybe to you it is. Ford, what are you doing? Nothing. Who are you calling? No one. Good. You can't just show up and break up the party. You should know right now that you can't ruin our fun. We can't? You're wrong about that. Uh, hi Emily. Need a little help? With what? Hey, put the phone down right now. No! Yvonne has crashed our party. We need you to escort her off the premises. Of course. How dare you? We're going into the woods now to make dent. Don't even try to follow. Let's split up into teams. Awesome! Looks cool! We should relax for a bit. We can hang out in the dens. I also have a few hammocks. I'm going to repair lime quarters for everyone. Limes. I love limes so much. You're obsessed with limes. Well, uh... What's wrong, Liliana? Just thinking about my dad. Lily. He loved the summer. He was a love gardener, especially in the summer. Morning, Daddy. Morning, Lily. Are you planting more flowers today? I love flowers. Yes. Would you like to join me? Of course, and I especially love sunflowers. We must plant sunflowers. Yes. Of course we will. Nine years ago since our last summer together. Even though I was four, I still remember it vividly. Despite being young, I also have vivid memories. And a lot of people don't remember things from that young age. I don't think we'll ever forget it. Because it's about our dads. It's not something I'll ever forget, at least. Willie. Or Freddy. He probably remembers it more than I do. He was eight. The memories must be so vivid to him. And he must remember your mom drifting away from you better than you do. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I miss my dad, too. You never really speak about your dad, Johnny. I don't like speaking about him much, and, well, it reminds me a lot of Kara. You know, it wasn't just her dad's death that changed her, though. Yeah, you should know that. You know she was horrible to Freddy just after his dad died, and that was like three years before your own dad died. I wish things were different. We were so close when we were younger. You can't change anything, though. You have to live in the moment. I learned that the hard way. Ford and I both know that. Yeah. Your whole perspective of the world changes so much when you or someone you know goes through a very near-death experience. The accident didn't just have cons. Moving on, and forgetting the past, let's enjoy ourselves whilst we're here. Definitely, and Eve, I'm glad you and my brother are getting on well. He needs someone like you around. It's not a problem. Our feelings are mutual. Shall we go on a summer walk through the woods? Sounds nice. I love the summer so much. Well, yeah. There's so many cool things you can do in the summer. Remember I was homeless? Homeless? Yes. The winter nights were cold, freezing. I barely even stayed alive. But the summer was nice. It was hot, pleasant, and just made me feel at least a little more positive. Rhea. What are we going to do after the walk? Well, we're going to walk to the beach and play some volleyball. It should already be set up. Sounds good. I haven't played volleyball before. You haven't had fun in the summer since you were four. Yeah, Freddy doesn't know what he's missing. That's his choice though. You and I both know how much he's hurting and how much he's really not recovering. Yeah, you're right about that. He'll never recover, not from our dad's death and not from what Coronel Yvonne did either. Let's start thinking about the negative things in play some volleyball. Of course. Ford, do you want to start? Sure. Oops! Don't worry, it's just for fun. It smells so good. I think it's mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. At least Emily escorted the 
bullies away. I'm sure Scarlet won't be crashing any more parties now. Exactly. Well, at least Freddy wasn't here. Why? He would have freaked if he saw Kara. He's so scared of her. Yeah, that's true. Isn't everyone scared of Kara? Well, if everyone is scared of Kara, think about how scared Freddy must be of her. True. Anyway, we should enjoy being here together and not think of Kara or Yvonne again, right? Yes, agreed. How's your summer been, Ford? Alright, I think. I've never been getting on too badly with my mum. I can't say the same here. I mean, I don't fight with my mum that much, but you should hear her and Freddy literally every half an hour. That makes sense. He despises her so much, and after everything, I don't blame him. He saw so much in those first few years, things that no child deserves to see at all. He told me stories of mum being, you know, Drunk. I used to think my mom was the worst in the world. I know whose mom is the worst in the world. Yours, of course. Let's not talk about bad moms. You probably have enough of that at home. The mac and cheese is nice, though. Yes, definitely. What's on the agenda for after dinner? Well, after dinner, everyone can have about an hour of free time, and then we'll all head over into the woods and make a campfire. I have marshmallows we could toast on sticks. I love toasting marshmallows on a fire. Doesn't everyone? I used to toast marshmallows on a fire a lot when I was a kid. I love campfires so much. Me too. I haven't sat around a campfire in years. Liliana, can you sing a coming song? Sure. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. And by now you should have somehow realized what you're not to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Back be the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out. I'm sure you've heard it all before but you never really had a doubt I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Nor the roads we have to walk are winding Nor the lies that lead us there are blinding there are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Maybe... You're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all... You're my wonder wow. It's been an amazing day. And we've still got more days to go. Can't wait. Sometimes it's just so nice to unwind and have fun. Despite all the hardships, we all need to have something fun in our lives. Exactly. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Same. We have even more planned for tomorrow. I never even want to go home. Besides, you know what? It's nice to be away for a bit. Yeah, it is. Sometimes a change of scenery is really nice. Plus, you guys spend lots of time with your friends. I love spending time with friends. Me too. A lot has happened. We've come out the other side, and I really do think this is going to be the start of a great summer. I hope you're right about that. I hope it is going to be a great summer. Well, you can spend it with your cousins now. Yes! That is true. Ford, what's the best thing about summer so far? That I get to spend it with all of you guys. Uh-huh. Let's just hope that Yvonne keeps her distance, and then it will be the summer of a lifetime. <laughs>